Style, the regular of Women's Day and New Zealand Women's Weekly. Lee Matheson is here with the latest in winter fashion essentials. Hi, Lee. Hi. Lovely to have you in the studio. Thank you for having me. Now, it's got cold, so we really want to snuggle up, don't we? It's time to grab that knitwear, basically. So this week in Women's Day, I've done a full spread on a variety of different knitwear that's available out there, starting off with... The go-to essentials like the pullovers and the jumpers and the turtlenecks, but also throwing a few extra bits in like the knit dress. I've got a great okay. one from Witchery there. And then also talking about coatigans. Okay, tell me what, what exactly is a coatigan? So a coatigan is a cardigan that has all the elements of a coat, so ideally length, but then also can have lapels and belts and that sort of thing. What and do you that, need? Yeah, sorry, keep going. Oh, that's just what you need this season. Well, what, what do you need to look for? Because surely that could look very, I, I'm, I'm picturing something quite nana in my head. It's definitely not nana. No? And as you can see, my pages this week we've got one with animal print on it so it's far removed from nana oh there it is on a little bit right there oh, okay i yeah. see okay and also the turtlenecks too look really lovely yeah so turtlenecks are sort of uh, i would say are the go-to piece to buy this season buy a different couple of colors and then you can layer them up underneath dresses as well to sort of bring your summer dresses into winter should you go tight turtleneck absolutely or big turtleneck? no tight Tight is always tight, better. Tight for layering, definitely. If you're going to wear a turtleneck by itself, then you can go the loose and the, with the drape. Okay, let's talk. We've got, we've got all these beautiful pieces in it. Where then? How do we actually look after them? Okay, so look, the most important thing is how you remove the garment first. I find a lot of people will remove the garment from the back of the neck, and that basically puts too much stress on the seam. So if you simply cross your arms through here, roll your knitwear up, you're taking it from a seam at the bottom that's fully fashioned and is built to take that sort of stress of removing the garment. I did not know this. New information. Okay, well that's <laughs> how I've been removing my knitwear. Yeah, right, you know. point taken. So that, that obviously is very important. Very important. And then for washing and wearing, obviously, user will wash. And then don't, line, don't hang it because it will stretch and grow. So lay it flat over like a drying rack or something similar like okay. that. Never put it in the dryer? Never put it in the dryer. Unless, Unless you want, you want a midget, little baby clothes yeah. or something for the dog, perhaps. Yes, that that's might work right. quite nicely. Yes. So we've got the jumpers, we've got the coatigans. There's some beautiful knit dresses around as well, isn't some there? Some great knit dresses around. And so when you're looking for a knit dress, you want something that is, is form-fitted oh, but not tight, tight. Yes. This, this is from Women's Weekly. So we've got some beautiful lace pieces there. And we're talking about bodycon as well and then on the next page we have a great knit dress from witchery there in the brick colorway which is sort of the dress that will fit every woman and every body type so these are all knit dresses oh, the last one there is witchery yeah. okay so what should you be looking for what sort of how thick should it be you don't want it to be too thick because you don't want it to overwhelm your silhouette so you want something nice nice and thin that will stretch and grow with you across the day as your body changes okay because it's really comfortable isn't it so comfortable it's like it's almost like not wearing anything but once again it does tend to stretch out so you have to be careful and then you wash it and it goes back in and what? never hang it in the wardrobe because again the same thing as hanging it on a washing line it will stretch and grow and misshape and you get those wonderful like Boop. little pointy like pointy things in the in the shoulders that's right okay so you've got your beautiful dresses you've got your coatigans Gloves. It's gloves. something that we don't talk about enough. That's not right. just like little woolly mittens, but proper gloves. Proper gloves, like beautiful leather, leather style gloves, felted gloves, anything that's got a perforation or a quilting in it to make it a little bit special. Do you think that these should be a feature piece that we should be buying? 100%. Mm. Yeah. And there's something that we should go through from season to season or buy a new uh, look, pair every season? You could buy a new pair every season, but if you find a really good investment pair in a leather glove, that'll take you for years to come. OK, and then staple them together. No, don't staple them. Don't them staple them uh, together. Put them together somewhere very safe so you don't lose it. That's right. Hey, Lee, that's been wonderful. Thank You've you. given us some great ideas uh, from Women's Day, Women's Weekly as well. We can check out all of those beautiful pictures in those magazines this week. Thank you so much for coming Thank in, you. Lee.